Good morning friends, welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about operators in C language. You know that in the features of C, C is a robust language. What is robust language? It has rich inbuilt functions and also rich operators. So C supports eight different types of operators such as arithmetic operator, relational operator, logical operator, assignment operator, increment and decrement operator, you have a conditional operator, bitwise operator and special operator. So like that we have totally eight different types of operators. So I will discuss all these different types of operators one by one in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me dive all the eight different types of operators. We have arithmetic operator. We have relational operator, we have logical operator, okay, we have assignment operator, okay, we have increment or decrement operator and then we have the conditional operator. Okay, bitwise operator and then we have the special operator. Okay, is it clear? So, totally we got eight different types of operators such as arithmetic, relational, logical, assignment, increment and decrement, conditional, bitwise and special operator. So, I will discuss each one in detail. First, let me discuss about the arithmetic operator. This arithmetic operator supports addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulus. Is it clear? These are the five different arithmetic operators the C language permits. Now already you know what is this unary addition. Suppose let us take that you have 2 plus 3, it will give the output as 5. You already know about the addition. Similarly, you know about the subtraction and also the multiplication. Now let me discuss about the division and the modulus. Now let us take that you are dividing 10 by 2. Now you will get whenever you are dividing, you will get two things. One is the quotient and the reminder. The division operator will give you the quotient and the modulus operator will give you the reminder. What is my point here I want to tell you is that if you are doing 10 by 2, the division operator will give you the output as 5. If you are doing 10 modulus 2, then it will give you the reminder. So, the division operator will give you the quotient and modulus operator will give you the reminder. Okay. And one more important point I want to tell you is that related to the modulus operator. The modulus operator, you can use it only for the integer constant. Suppose if you are writing 10 modulus, suppose 10.0 modulus 2.0. This is not valid. You can use the modulus one only between the integer constants. You cannot use it them for the real constants. And one more thing I want to tell you about the modulus operator. If the, let us take that you are thinking 14 modulus 3, what is the output it will give? 14 modulus 3, what is the remainder and what is the quotient? 3 4 is 12. So, you will get the reminder as 2 and quotient as 4. So, if both the numerator and denominator is positive, you know that result will be positive. Suppose let us take that you have the numerator as a negative number and denominator is a positive number. Then what is the modulus operator will give you? It will give you minus 2. Suppose let us take that you are dividing 14 modulus minus 3 then lot of people will think that it will give minus 2 because one is positive and another one is negative. So, finally the result will be a negative. Am I right? If you are thinking like that, it is wrong. Always remember one thing, the sign of the result will be depend on the sign of the numerator. Whatever the sign of the denominator, it does not look. Whatever the sign of the numerator, that sign will come for the result. So, here it is a negative, it will come negative. As here the numerator is a positive number, the result will be plus 2. This is correct. 
where minus 2 is wrong. Similarly, let's take that you have minus 14 modulus minus 3, then also it will give you the minus 2. Lot of people will think that it will give a plus, but the numerator has a negative symbol, so the result will also get a negative. So, this is about the modulus. The modulus, you cannot use them for the real constants and the result sign will depend on the sign of the numerator. So, this is about the arithmetic operators. Okay. Now, let me discuss about the relational operator. The relational operators use is to compare two operands. If you want to do the comparison, suppose let's take that you want to compare between the me and someone, then you will use a, some relational operator, whether I am greater than that person or I am less than this person, like that you will compare between the two integral constants. Suppose let's take that we have the less than okay usually in mathematics this is less than i agree okay is it clear now less than or equal we will write in mathematics like this but in c long ways you should write less than or equal is it clear it is less than or equal less than or equal this is for greater than this is greater than or equal okay this is for equal you want to compare whether two operands let's take that or two variables suppose you want to compare a value is equal to b value or not okay where a and b are the two variables if you want to compare whether you want to check whether these two are equal or not in mathematics we will write a is equal to b then it is a comparison because it is an lhs and rhs we are checking lhs is equal to rhs or not but in c if you want to compare two things whether they are equal or not you should use this one okay you want to check whether they are not equal or not you should write like this not equal is it clear now let me tell you one more thing suppose let's take that you have written int a is equal to 5 b is equal to 5 also and you are writing int c is equal to a is equal to is equal to b you have written a statement then what is the c value you will get now look at the first thing it will check whether 5 is equal to 5. Tell me whether 5 is equal to 5. 5 is equal to 5. So it is true. Okay. Because when you are comparing you will get any one of the outcome whether it is a true or false. If it is true you will get the value 1. If it is false you will get the value 0. So as a is equal to means 5 is equal to 5. So this will give the result as 1. So, that value C will be assigned with a value 1. If you are displaying the C, you will get the output as 1. Suppose, let us take that B value is 6 here. If you are comparing A is equal to B, then what is this? A value is 5, B value is 6. Whether 5 is equal to 6? No, false. Then it will give you the value as 0. That value will be assigned to the variable C. So, this is about the relational operators they will be useful for comparing the two things. If the comparison is true, means if the result is true, you will get the output as 1. If the result is false, you will get the outcome as 0. Okay. So, this is about the relational operators. Okay. Now, let me discuss about the logical operator. The logical operators, we have the logical and, okay, logical or, and logical not okay is it clear are you able to understand it or not you have the logical and logical or and logical not now let me discuss about these things now this logical and and logical or you will use them for the more than two one condition if you have let's take that you have a condition one and you have a condition two Suppose let's take that, okay. Um, let's take that you want to go to college, okay. That is the primary objective you have. When you will go to the college, if it is a weekday and you have a mood to go to the college, is it clear? Then only you will go to the college, am I right? If it is a weekday and also you have the interest to go to the college, 
then only finally you will go to the college if any one of them is wrong meaning is that even if it is a weekend or if it is a weekend still if you have a mood then you will not go to the college because it is a holiday similarly let's take that if it is a monday and you don't have interest to go to the college then also you will not go to the college so the condition end is nothing but the final result will be true when this condition and this condition both are true then only it will give you the output as true are you able to understand if this one is true and this is also true then only the outcome will be true suppose if you want to check it let me check it for you condition one condition two each condition can have true or false if this is true and this is true then only the final result let me write it as a result then only it will be true if any one of them is false then the final result will be false okay if both are false also then it will be false is it clear are you able to understand it or not if both are true then only the final result will be true that is about the logical end operator now let me discuss about the logical or operator the logical or operator is the logical or operator if any one of them true then the final result will be true is it clear if condition 1 is true or condition 2 is true then the final result will be true suppose let's take it if both the conditions are true then it is true any one of the condition is true then the final result will be true okay and this is false so this is about logical and sorry logical r if any one of the condition is true then the final result will be true usually you will use see them in the if conditions am i right if you want to check more than one condition then you will use this logical and and logical or based on your logic okay now you already know what is logical not it is a negation is it clear it is like like a complement meaning is that you have some condition not if this condition is true then negation of that one it will become false is it clear not condition not true is equal to, are able to understand it or not so this is about the logical not it will act as a negation okay so now let me discuss about the assignment operator or shorthand operator okay let me discuss about the next operator which is assignment operator or shorthand operator the assignment operator suppose let's take that you are writing a statement like a plus is equal to 1 then it will act as a is equal to a plus 1 okay is it clear this one we will call it as an assignment operator or shorthand operator a plus is is equal to 1 meaning is that a is equal to a plus 1 similarly let's take that you are writing a into is equal to b then it is nothing but a is equal to a into b is it clear or sometimes you will look like this i plus is equal to 1 that is nothing but i is equal to i plus 1 okay so this is about the assignment operator a plus is equal to is nothing but a is equal to a plus 1 if you are writing a into b is equal to b is in nothing but a is equal to a into b so this is about the assignment operator so in this video i have discussed about the arithmetic operator relational operator logical operator assignment operator in the next video i will discuss about the remaining four operators such as increment and decrement conditional bitwise and special operator if you still have any doubts related to these four operators feel free to ask me in the comment session i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day